couple of toilet rolls and roll them up and got string and we get cotton wool we put them in the cardboard tube padding with the cotton wool so that's going to be the basis the start of our bone which as you can see I did here I actually used one of the bigger cardboard tubes with this one for the leg on the torso so nice and chunky so we also created a bit of a fake neck stump here so we're going to have this it's going to be connected up with some tubing through here and as the kids go by it's going to spurt blood dribble blood into like a medical catchment so we've got some medical supplies we have a fake head that I'm working on so it's very very at the start so I've got to cover in latex and then do foundation and a bit more on that so after all this I'm definitely going to be making a B movie with all the props just something silly and fun it's going to be awesome we get the latex and video the dog and do a couple of coats of the white try and get more along the bone well what's meant to be the bone than elsewhere so if we had money we'd be making it with silicon this is a head that I made a while back so it's suffered damage from being used in a few different short films but no so get the layer of latex just get that a couple of coats over and then we'll move to some latex that we've colored that gives us that nice chunky color so while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm building a jar full of severed fingers because this haunted house is going to have a couple of bookcases so I've got some eyes that I made I might do a video on teaching you how to make eyes too but yes so next we get some cotton wool which is a very awesome product in special effects so you dunk it in the latex and then as you can see along the edges here I've um, kind of pulled it apart and reformed it around wet the inside of the cardboard tube so that'll just give it that chunky flesh kind of feel and you know once I start doing the color I'll add it around the edges a bit more and then build up down here with a flesh color but this is it's, as you can see it's starting to kind of form um, the good thing about using cardboard tubes a lot of the time for bones is that they kind of automatically have that indentation inside around the edges so that it gives that kind of as you can see there the inside feel of the bone where the marrow is so that's just why I use cardboard tubes they're cheap and expensive I mean I just got dozens lying around so it's, um, when you're on a tight budget like I am for this haunted house it's just something nice and easy to do so um once I'm done with this because I'm still letting it dry a bit I'm gonna add intestines to the bottom here I'm gonna put a shirt over her, put a bra on her and give her some breasts make her look correct we're gonna have her hanging on a hook covered in plastic blood dripping out from but these intestines I've got another video on how to make them actually um yeah we used for the trailer teaser for Dark of the Woods actually when I was ripped in half so just letting this dry and then we will be back soon to colour it's getting there with latex you can kind of tell see how some of it's that yellowy opaque look especially at the top there that's when you know latex is dry and you can move on to the next layer um, if it's still white that means it's not dried and today it's very wet obviously not as wet as the states at the moment but still wet so the wetter it is just the more humidity and the longer it takes for the latex to dry which is annoying some of the latex so it's just normal latex that I've added acrylic paint so I've just added a red and a black um, if you are going to use latex as you can see here it's a very light color but when it dries it goes to that dark color that you know I keep showing you um, one of the rules of thumb is latex when it's dry is always darker than when it's wet so a very common oops first mistake go back to showing what I'm doing I'm just painting with a cotton wool which is a really good medium for so much but um so a good rule of thumb is to always just mix a little bit do a color check let it dry and then that way you will get to see how it's looking so when this dries it'll be a bit fleshy and chunky and we'll be adding blood and a little bit of gore so 
I'm not recording this part very well, sorry. But yeah, so I'm just dabbing it on, cotton wool. Um, one of the things that I'll do is if I was going to do another side, I keep this. So as you can see there, there's always chunky parts. Always keep the leftovers, have a box or something. And that way when you're doing a new project, it will give you... So if you can see here, I've got a little bit of gory chunks that I'm going to wrap around the bone to give it just that little bit of extra realism when I put it on. But um, always keep the leftovers just so that you can have a box and if you need to make something really quickly then you just grab it, chuck it on, slap it on, bada bing bada boom, done. So I'm going to let this dry and um, I'll come back and let you see how it looks. Now I've got some foundation and latex mixed together, so foundation and latex, pretty sure you know what that is. So, we have a smash outside. You get that, so it's a bit more of a skin colouring. And we just start applying it onto the sides here. So, as you can see, it's starting to look nice and bony, ready for some fake blood. But, of course, I'll be making some red stuff to put on that before we do that. So yeah, so I just one of the things I do do with latex is kind of pat it to give it a more organic texture. It just doesn't have the streaks, I guess, this, the stripes, streaks, whatever you want to call them, of you know the normal painting when you're. Psh, psh. So yeah, so we're well and truly on our way to having this ready to put the shirt back on, cover with some kind of fake fleshy stuff that I will be making out of foam quite soon. So yeah. So can add a bit, although that is looking bony there, add a bit more. I'll probably do the last layer. So yeah, I hope this is helping. It's a quick Halloween tutorial.